Hello everyone, Simon here from creativetradingsystem.com. I'm making this video about gold again. So let's get started. This is the chart, gold chart I made on the 21st of July, daily chart, right? And that's saying that, you know, from 61 trend line and uh, this is uh, level here, 2368. We're going to bounce back and go to the upside. This is wave one, two, followed by wave three, which will have five waves, like one, two, three, four, five. Sub wave, right? And uh, but I, uh, for the purpose of teaching, uh, I made different uh, charts with different studies uh, of this gold, right? So the second chart that I made, it is a thousand uh, brick size uh, of my Renko charts, and it's a gold thousand, right? So it was making some kind of harmonic pattern when it started to go up. Uh, you just saw on a daily chart, right? So this is like X, A, B, C, D, similar like this. But notice that this pattern is completely different than what you have in the market out there. This is called failed. Uh, this is I made, right? It's my creation. It says failed bearish girdle. It means if it's a bearish girdle, it will finish here at 78%, but it will be a failed one because it's not going to work out. So that is a very big problem that uh, people, uh, when they have like uh, set up for Elliott wave or harmonic pattern and they open the trade and then it backfires, right? Then uh, people don't know what to do, right? So uh, what I'm uh, uh, teaching here and, uh, you know, I'm coming up with uh, these charts and these diagrams uh, that if the pattern or Elliott wave count doesn't work, then you can still make it profitable. And you must know what happened after that. So this is what I'm showing you that, you know, even though we are going for here for point D to finish up uh, a bearish girdle, but the location of this bearish girdle is going to be wrong. And that's why it's going to be a failed bearish girdle. And then it will go for something else. What is something else? Now uh, we apply the Elliott wave study and then see the, what the heck happening. And this is how we do. So this is wave one, two, and this is wave three. Right. So if this that's what it is, then it is uh, going to be a failed girdle here. It will be a girdle, then fail. And then we end up here somewhere 2450. That was wave three uh, target. Another smaller time frame uh, chart and a version where this is if this is wave one and two, then I'm showing that we're going for wave three. And uh, what are uh, the target? What will be the targets, which is like this. So you see that we have one and two. This is what it's one and two. And then I show that this level, then uh, the, if this would be with C uh, uh, correction, if we drop from there. But if you go further, that would be with three or this one, right? So 2431 or 2450. So what really happened uh, to these charts? I'll show you one by one. The first, the daily chart. Uh, so this, okay. Now this one, this chart, one, two, A, B, C, right? Uh, then it, it turns into like this. Straight up, first took out this 24.17, then 24.31, uh, and then all the way to 24.50. So we reached that. Other chart, and then you know, I'm making uh, my entries, a lot of trades alongside, and a lot of trades, I, don't, I didn't even make the chart. Uh, it was a very hectic day. Then uh, see this chart, it turns into what? Let's take a look. This one, the first one, remember that it's supposed to be going all the way up. So it went there. But when this chart is like a before chart, what happened to this? This is what happened. We went there after, and then I said first target of 24.17 is hit, and the girdle is completed here. right? But it has to be a fair girdle. So either it's going to dip a little bit and then go for this, or it's going to just continue going to, to the upside, right? So if you remember that this chart that I showed you that this is what's going to happen, it's going to go to the upside with Elliott wave count, one, two, three. Watch out that, that is exactly when there, wave three, right? So 24.50 hit and 161 is the perfect calculation by the book calculation for wave three, right? And from there on, and then alongside, you know, I'm, I'm making my entries here and here, so you can see en entries here and then trades, right? So continue going to, once you know what it is, then you can do that, right? No problem. Now, this one, this version, uh, I already showed you that this uh, Elliott wave count and the, yeah. So um, uh, uh, the charts are messed up a little bit here, there, right? So this one, we already saw that it went all the way to 2450. Now the daily chart that I showed you, it, uh, this is the first, um, uh, there's the first chart that I made, the daily chart. And this is, uh, we ended up like this. 
right? And then if you see that this one and the trades, the daily chart, this is where we are today. Uh, uh, you know, I, I uh, recorded this chart like a few hours ago, right? So now the trades uh, and multiple trades that I took, but let me show you that how easy it is to take the entries from different time frames. So now this one, for example, my 400 B, uh, BS, where this wave one, two here ended up, and then we start to go like one, two, and then three and four and five, right? So I have my entries here. My, one of my entry here at 23.87. And this one I also posted on the Telegraph, the gold making a long on 400, right? So, and then I'm, you know, alongside I'm uh, posting uh, all the charts, uh, possible charts, uh, the, the setup and all that. See this one I posted here, the video I made, I posted here, this chart, I, every all single thing. <coughs> all of them, I'm constantly posting here for, uh, to keep my subscribers uh, uh, updated, right? So this is what's happening here. And uh, it the second one is from the 200 b uh, brick size, box size, right? So that was for 400, but this one, you notice that this is above 2417. So 2417 is here. Now this entry was from here, so it went up all the way. Then when it broke above, and then this is where I got the 200 uh, box size entry which is this one, right? Just above 2417, right? And I, I got um, uh, from my uh, even smaller time frame, uh, 150 box size, and I got this entry I took uh, as well. This is right here. So this is uh, from that chart from 150 box size. So I had this one, I had the 200 one, and I had a 400 one. So all three uh, uh, time frame that I'm using uh, whenever I get uh, a good looking entry uh, in the direction of the trend, uh, you can take it very easily. And these are, you know, usually I use only 150 and 200, but for the sake of teaching and showing that you can even uh, take a very, very good entry and a big trade from a 400 box size chart as well. Right. So, uh, but it is just a required a, a larger uh, SL. That's it. You know, a little bit uh, uh, bigger SL. Right. But I like to keep uh, things in uh, under control, and uh, mostly I use uh, 200 box size. But then again, what happens is that the, if the, uh, the the move is fast, see this 150, you can get this one and this one and this one. But in 200, uh, sometimes it, it goes a boom in a straight line without giving you entry. Right. So if you don't get take one of these, and then here you have no chance. Right. So 150 give you those chances as well. Right, so it's always good to uh, cover everything from every angle, right, and uh, uh, don't let it go. Uh, now, what happened now is uh, that since we have reached the twenty four fifty uh, target for wave three, we're supposed to be dropping for wave four, by the way, and that would be looking like this, right? On a regular time frame, I'll make the chart and then I post on my Telegram for my subscriber, but. Uh, this is how uh, what, on my gold 1,000 box size chart, one, we have one, two, three, four, and uh, if it's going to come here, maybe, you know, wave four is always uh, very nasty and uh, complicated and, and uh, uh, ranging kind of uh, uh, wave, right? So be careful uh, trading that. And uh, once it's finished, either somewhere here uh, or maybe down here, somewhere it should be finished finishing around maybe 2431 or in between uh, 2417 and 2431 somewhere. And then it will go back up for wave five, maybe to this area, right? If another version that if you look at this, draw the fifth from here to here, then you can see that it is coming off of uh, 127 extension level, right? Now 127 extension level is dropping, but notice that the first pullback here is 61. Now, if you pay attention, the 61 to 23 to 161 is called a crap pattern, which is right there. So this is going to be the f target for this harmonic pattern completing, right? And that is 2483 level, which is also my Elliott wave count, one, two, three, four. Once the four is finished, and if you pull the fifth of wave four, let's say um, from here, and then let's say if it comes to um, here somewhere, right? Right there, so you can see that uh, if it comes to twenty four seventeen and it goes back to one sixty one extension, which is right there, All right? So it may come to like you know uh, a drop here and then go back up and then drop with four, 
and then again one one two and then or or maybe a b and c all the way so here we will have a, a, a complication complicated waves coming in and the fun time is kind of like over i think but you never know this market can do anything to uh, not tomorrow but uh friday we have an fp today it moved all the way to the upside because of the fomc right after that usd start to get weaker right and uh, that has uh, its effect on this gold. So uh, let's see, NFP comes in the same direction or maybe uh, in a wrong direction, the other direction actually, not, nothing is wrong here in this market, right? Everything is right. As long as you're going to sell, buy, whatever, you make money, everything is right. So if uh, the, after the NFP, maybe it will drop uh, uh, more in ABC fashion for wave four. And then maybe next week, uh, we will start uh, to go up to the upside again for uh, the uh, upper area. When you look, if you look at the daily chart, uh, this is where you can easily understand that you know the next target after a dip is gonna go up, and this is the one where what I was talking about twenty four eighty three. So this will be the high, and this will be the next target after the retracement is finished for wave four. Be careful, wave four is very bad. Right, most of the people uh, make a lot of money in wave three, just like we did yesterday, and then they end up losing everything and some more in wave four. Okay, so be very careful. And this is also, you know, higher uh, time frame, daily time frame, uh, Fibonacci expansion for when uh, wave three is this right here. It's coming uh, one sixty one point eight percent is twenty five is sixty one. So 24.83 or a little bit more 25.61 is, you know, right around the corner, right? So 24.83 may go up a little bit more, finishing wave five of wave three. Then we will drop for wave four. Then we go up more for wave five uh, to finish up this drama here, which is what's happening here, right? So we are currently trying to finish this after this wave four, this wave five, and that will be ending wave three. Then we will drop for wave four, and big wave four, and then we'll go up for big wave five, maybe around 28, 75, and 29, 80, or something like that, right? So this is the whole thing. So we have three, four, and wave five, blue count, right? That is going on, going on right now, and that this blue count, this, uh, uh, I mean, uh, sub wave, black count, one, two, and then we are in wave three. Wave three also have sub counts, one, two, three, we finished wave four and now going to the upside for wave five. That makes sense? All right. So, <laughs> so this is it for now. And now uh, I'm going to relax uh, and then keep my eyes uh, off go and uh, pay attention somewhere else. Maybe USD, yen pair, yen index is all the way down big time. Right? They raised the interest rate and it is getting strong now. So how far is going to go? So I will, so I, I'm not interested in trading uh, with uh, four, uh, uh, the one that we are now, right? Actually, it's with five, but then, you know, on a smaller time frame, it's with four, uh, nasty with four coming up. Uh, so I'm going to bypass that and see what happened uh, some, somewhere else, right? So this is it for now. Uh, don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can uh, get my videos on time so you can take advantage of those, right? Uh, plus my website, if you like the system, you want to get it, then you can go on my website here and sign up for subscription, monthly, early, whatever, one-on-one -on -one coaching here, the courses, harmonic pattern, and your wave, all, all of these things are available. My robots are available here. All right, so uh, I take advantage of that because I have a free, uh, I mean, 50% off uh, most of the things. And then uh, you can sign up also, go to my website and fill up the form. Send, uh, leave your emails for uh, to be a part of my telegram to see how things are working there and it's free uh, a couple for a couple of weeks right so uh, uh, just uh, have a test drive so this is it for now and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you guys later